states. So the affirmative um, is basically stating that uh, colleges should um, discontinue the use of um, the SAT for making decisions. However, um, we're stating that they should continue it. Uh, the affirmative states that um, they should make the SAT optional and focus more on GPA grades. Um, the affirmative stated that usually the um, Saturday tests do not provide a direct and complete measure of educational achievement. Um, however, from a U.S. News article, I found that uh, the SAT students, I'm sorry, the SAT tests the knowledge and skills students acquire as part of a rigorous high school curriculum. Students who perform best on the exam are those who compete a core curriculum and pursue the most of rigorous coursework. So uh, as long as a student actually pushes themselves to take rigorous high school courses, which prepare them for college, uh, they should do well on the SAT. The SAT is meant to determine the student's readiness for their college career. Their college career requires an educational um, achievement. Uh, the SAT prepares for other tests um, and achievement even post-college. So according to uh, According to, yes, according to a New York Times article, uh, most graduate programs also require standardized tests, such as the GRE, the GMAT, the LSAT, or MCAT as part of the admissions process, as it is in fact, uh, doesn't seem like it will change. Therefore, preparing and doing well in the SAT can give you the confidence and understanding of best uh, test prep practices to be able to do well in standardized tests down the road. So um, the SAT is meant to prepare for just your college admission, yes, but preparing for the SAT, you'll also learn how to prepare for um, later tests that you have to take after college for your career, not just for your, your college choice. So it actually, you start to gain skills that you will need later on. Uh, the affirmative also stated that uh, the study broke down applicants into three socioeconomic, sorry, wrong. Um, that there, they said that there's a, a gender gap in the SAT. Um, and I actually found an article, um, according to CNN, the SAT has proven track record as a fair and valid predictor of first year college students for all students, regardless of gender, race, or socioeconomic status. So the SAT actually prevents the possibility of a gender gap. Um, former Washington, D.C. Schools Chancellor Michelle Brew suggests that using alternative tests for minorities or exempting children with disabilities would be unfair to those students. You can't separate them, and to try to do so creates two unequal systems, one with accountability and one without it. This is a civil rights issue. Therefore, canceling the SAT would actually do the complete opposite of what the affirmative stated. With the canceled, minorities would actually um, really be treated unfairly. So other questions that I would like to bring up to this is that um, while well, the SAT is actually also used for college grants and um, scholarships down the line, so those would actually be limited later on if the SAT is no longer taken into account or if it's not, if you don't need it in general. So less students would want to take the test and therefore there's less of a chance of the student to get a scholarship later down the road. Uh, also, the SAT cancellation would affect many people and their jobs. Uh, according to the College Board, today the membership association is made up of over 6,000 of the world leading educational institutions. So there are many, many people employed um, because of the SAT um, test, test, like the test in general. So um, the people who are administering the test and also uh, people who are actually tutors as well. So they would be at risk of losing their job as well because less students would want to take the test. Um, also, um, as of now, the uh, United States is, for the Program for International Student Assessment, um, which is basically how we place around the world, um, China is leading at the moment. And right now, the US doesn't even make their top 10. Um, and so, and so deleting or canceling the SAT, then we really wouldn't be ranked top 10. Uh, 
and it affects our education as a country. So according to, oh, actually this is just a, this is just a statistic. China placed Finland as number one in reading, math, and science when Shanghai debuted on the program for international student uh, ranking in 2009. Despite calls for reduction in standardized testing, China's testing regimen remains firmly in place and and therefore, they, they have their standardized test. Like, they have to take it no matter what. And they're leading in the world right now. So if we <coughs> drop our standardized testing, we really won't have any type of um, indicator of the, who we are as a country. 